this is the third installation of my knitting section of my file packs. Um, I'm glad to have you back. Uh, and greetings from a very chilly, snowy Switzerland this morning. Okay, well let's get right into it. Today uh, I told you that I was going to talk about my work in progress section of my knitting. Um, so let's see what I've done. Okay, I have it at the moment, I have it um, behind my... Uh, stash but I think I'm going to be changing that and putting it in front okay so this is how my work in progress list looks that I have created um, it has all of the the projects that I've started at some point I've got the date where I've started it the name of the project and if I finish it well well when I finish it more like I then include the date that I finished um, so this is just so I have a running overview of what what projects are still well have been started because I tend to put my projects somewhere either in my project basket or if my project basket gets too full and things are hibernating I tend to put them in my cupboard so it, it's always nice to know that I still have a backup plan so I still know which ones I've started at what point because if there's nothing here in the completed section then I know that it's still hibernating somewhere and it's time that I need to pull it back out and finish it up. So that's a work in progress list that I've created and then if we go back here after my work in progress list I have um, my work in progress so these are the projects that I then start and I create I've created a page for each of these so this is the page um, that I've created for my work in progress I have created one for each of my projects so that I can sort of have an overview of everything that's being done at any specific time um, so if you look at the the page as it stands I have the name of the project which is the name that I've given the project the name of the pattern where I've either purchased or downloaded it, the date that I've started it, and the yarn used, and how many skeins I've seen, well, I've put aside for that. Um, these are generally my stash yarns, and so they will be uh, followed up and filled in on my stash pages. So each of these would have then its own stash page, so that if I don't use the complete four skeins, I will then complete it on there so I know how much of my stash I still have. If you missed out on my stash section, um, that's the video before this one. You can either find it above uh, in my on my channel or on my blog. Then I go on to the needles used, and then I have here. This is specifically for me because I'm 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 the person who has um, I, I do row counting by hand. So I I haven't got any here. Let me just find one where I have. You can see um, I have a row counter where I write all my rows because I firstly I'm too lazy to go and count every single row by hand and so I tend to write them down especially if I'm doing things like well uh, patterns and stuff or until my next decreases I like to write it down so I've got a whole section at the bottom of the page where I can fill that in because my little scraps of paper that I used to have my uh, work in progress bags they always used to somehow disappear so the next time I picked up that, that project I never remembered where I was in the pattern and this way by having it on my page I have an overview of exactly where I am and how much I've done of every project at every time because it's stuck in my file effects so it's not going to be going anywhere then if I look here at the back of this project page you can see I've, I've got a page for notes um, and then I tend to write in things uh, that I will have um, uh, how should I say? If I if I if I ch change the pattern in any way, I'll write that down. If I um, add something, uh, this one for example was a very short and easy pattern, so I wasn't going to go and print it out of the internet. So I just quickly wrote it down so that I knew where I was and what I had to still do in the project. So that's basically what I fill it in with. And here again, I would also write in my notes section. I'd write if I enjoyed the pattern. Um, if I would recommend other worlds or if I want to make it again that kind of information so I have um, that always with me because I tend to do so many projects um, just when I was looking at my work in progress list I was amazed at how many projects I've done just this year and so if I don't write that down I can't really remember when I look back at the pattern pages which one was fun which one wasn't what problems I had and that's all I, I tend to include all of that information on these pages 
And then what I do is, um, if you look here at the back of my work in progress, I'll have various patterns that I want to make or that I am making. And what I do is I just print them in the A5 size. So I'll just put them in a booklet form and then I'll print them um, so that I've got them here for reference. So that if I'm busy doing my knitting, not only have I got my work in progress pages so I can make notes on the various patterns, but I have the patterns included in my file effects as well. There you have it. That's my work in progress section of my, my knitting in my file of facts. I hope you enjoyed it. Please feel free to download yourself a copy of both of these lists. I have the list available for you as well as the individual work in progress pages. Um, they are in A4 format, so you can print them out if you have an A5. Do the reverse copy on the other side, cut it in half and punch it, and then you have your copies for your A5. Um, let me know what you think of my my inserts. I'd love to hear from you if you think there are things missing or things that should be included or excluded. Give me a comment below on my blog. I'd love to hear from all of you. Thanks for watching. See you next week. Bye.